Scott Sigmund, we're here in Chelmsford at the Drumhill Surgery Center, which is owned by Lowell General Hospital. I'm an orthopedic surgeon that specializes in uh, knee arthroscopy, and what we thought we'd do today is give everyone the experience of what it would be like to have a knee arthroscopy, and we figured we'd start by bringing you into the operating room to be able to see the equipment and get a feel for what it looks like. So what I'd like to do is be able to show you uh, the different aspects and technology that we have here in the operating room. Uh, over here, uh, this is the operating room table. This is where we're going to make you nice and comfortable during the surgical procedure. As a general rule with knee arthroscopy, it's going to be a general anesthetic. We're going to put you to sleep so you're not going to hear, feel, or see anything. Uh, the surgical intervention takes anywhere from 15 minutes to 45 minutes as a general rule. And most patients sort of wake up and almost uh, are unawares that the surgery is already taking place. Um, I'd like to talk to you a little bit as well as about the technology that we have available to us now. The technology that you have in your home with all of your electronics has made its way into the operating room. This is a high definition flat screen monitor that allows us beautiful visualization inside the knee joint, extremely high resolution, which really allows us to see the anatomy exceptionally well. Arthroscopy is a very different type of surgery than standard surgery, and so by definition it needs different instruments. So we have developed newer instruments that allow us uh, to get into very tight spaces, if you will, act as our fingertips deep into the tissues without creating injury. So these specialty, minimally invasive tools have really become quite handy for us as well in, in the operating room and in, uh, in this setting as well. All right, fantastic. So welcome to the actual operating room, everyone. And at this point right now, what I've done is I've made uh, two small incisions, and I've actually put a very small camera inside the knee joint, which basically is attached to this device right over here. It allows me, with this line, to go directly into this uh, high definition uh, flat screen up here, and we can actually visualize directly what's happening on the inside of the knee joint. And it's really amazing uh, the technology that we have at this point to be able to see and do all the things that we want to do. Knee arthroscopy is really quite interesting compared to a lot of other surgeries. It's very much almost like a video game in certain respects because classic old-time surgery was an incision in front of you, you used your hands, everything you saw directly in front of you. But now with these newer, minimally invasive techniques, I'm actually tapping a device over here with my foot to control a very special shaver, which is this device here, which I use to help remove the tissue that's torn. In addition, I then hold my hand over in here, and you can see that I'm actually visualizing everything up on the screen. Okay, so typically what we'll do at the end of the surgery is we'll put a nice big uh, sterile dressing over top with a big ace wrap such as this. Uh, we're going to give you a big ice pack to go home with as well. Uh, you're going to be on crutches for one day, then after that you can get rid of your crutches altogether. Uh, tomorrow we instruct the patients to get rid of all of this bandage here, put a band-aid over each of the incisions, and they can actually take a shower and bathe the day after surgery. Three. Uh-huh. <laughs> 